Good morning, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. And this, I would not call this a reloading video as much as I would call it a product um, first look that I would use in some of my reloading and uh, or um, firearm type of activity. And I'll show you kind of why or how I think that relates. But um, I caught this on uh, one of the daily deals that, you know, when you apply the coupon and the code and whatever, it works out to be like 10 bucks. And I thought for 10 bucks, um, how bad could it be? And this is a Wi-Fi digital microscope. Uh, I would call this the ultimate in Chinesium. But again, for 10 bucks and what I thought I would apply it to, I figured, hey, what the heck? So it comes with your charging cable, uh, a stand, or rather a base. The actual unit, which I think stands actually like that. There's a little lip here, I think, that corresponds to that, because if you try to use that side, it doesn't fit. So it looks like it's top first as just a way to stand it up if you're going to do something handheld. And then if you're going to uh, do something that requires a base, here's the base. And uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate both of them today, this morning. Very rare that I do a morning video. It's a beautiful Sunday morning before I hit the range and punch holes in paper targets. So for uh, reloading stuff, uh, years ago, my son used to repair Xboxes, and this would be great for looking at, uh, you know, the boards and uh, getting that solder right in the right place. But um, from a reloading point of view or firearms usage, uh, an example, uh, I was uh, trying to troubleshoot a problem and uh, trying to look inside uh, a particular bunch of uh, uh, uh in, into the chamber slash barrel slash whatever to see what was going on there. Um, this would have been great for that as opposed to trying to maneuver my iPhone and trying to snap the perfect picture that, you know, didn't occur. So uh, I will go ahead and set this up because I will attach it to my uh, iPad and then uh, do a quickie demo. So be back in uh, a short second or a long second. All right, we are back. So I set my iPad up with the app, which is called Max C. Uh, you turn this on and then you set it to that um, Wi Fi connection, and now these two are talking to each other. And what's interesting is, as you can see, the level of granularity of what this is picking up, and which is amazing because that is the letters uh, which you can't see. The letters on this thing that says open it that was the red lettering so now it's picking up obviously the base and um, you've got a couple of controls here uh, make the LED brighter or less bright and you can see it lighting up on my screen um, for magnification there is you can see I'm doing the 10 to 20, and I forget what the level of magnification is. Um, and then this is uh, the zoom. So I will focus on this bullet and I will brighten this up as much as possible. And then you can see, look at the dots on my. So there is the head of the bullet. The edge of the brass. So I'm going to use this. I don't know how this uh, snaps in. Uh, it looks like this ring right here. All right, so I'm going to put it in the stand so that I can eliminate my shaky ass hand and then see what we can get for this bullet and I'm looking at this edge of the the brass where it meets the bullet and I'm gonna make that a 
and then I'm going to play with the focus. I think that's kind of cool. I mean, look at the detail. Sorry for the glare on the uh, on the shop light, but look at the detail of the brass edge where it meets the side of the bullet and you can see the wear and tear on the brass there <clears throat> as I try and set that with a little again sorry for the light uh, let's do something on the side of the bullet Again, look at the, the close-up of the little dots on my mat. That's just funny sad. Again, there's the uh, side of the brass, and I will try and focus that. It's too bad the focus... There was no control with the iPad because that would really, because every time you touch it's kind of like a scope. Well, it is a scope. It's a microscope, kind of like a shooting scope where whenever you touch it, things things are going to go haywire. But uh, let me see if I can get that damage right there. Look at that. That's barely visible by the eye, this particular um, issue gouge whatever um, and I'll, I'll bring this up to the camera here in a second to see if you can even see it so I will take a red marker and I will try and mark where that is well there's my red marker so my red marker is gonna put a red mark right where that gouge is and then I'm going to bring this up to the camera. And can you see it? Yes, you you can see that that little bit of a gouge. Is it readily visible? Not really. I mean, if you were really looking, you could see it, but um uh, not like not like it is right there and actually it's going to move around but uh, I thought this would be cool for you know uh, I'm not going to be able to get into my uh, my barrels with it um, but I thought this was uh, for ten dollars a uh, poor man's version of a bore scope only not for a bore, uh, for other things that you're uh, doing while, you know, potentially reloading related. But uh, the quality of the picture um, was quite impressive. Let me see if I can zoom out here, if it'll stay focused as I... It looks like it's staying focused. So there's the 1.0 version of the... Uh, so that's kind of what that little gouge would look like to the human eye. And then let me zoom in without. And there is that 2.0. And I think it needs a little more focus. Again, for what I was doing on a rifle and looking into the uh, receiver, this would have been perfect for that. Instead of trying to hold the receiver with one hand and then dinking around with uh, the iPhone in the other hand. Again, uh, very sensitive on the focus, and I'm just making it worse, so you guys get the idea. 
and we'll look at how nasty each of these rubber cones are on my bar mat. Uh, that's really gross. How wonderful. Kind of like uh, looking at your skin up close to see what's on your skin. Let's see, there's my hand. I'll tone down the light a little bit, as you can see. Well, that's intense. All right, you guys get the idea. So, kind of a cool tool for doing stuff, project stuff, maybe uh, hobby stuff, maybe reloading stuff, maybe whatever stuff. But uh, it's made by y Yanama, Yanama. And it was, after all the codes, I think $10 shipped. So I thought, what the heck, um, doesn't everybody need a Wi-Fi microscope magnifier or whatever it's called? And uh, again, for the money, uh, not bad. So that is Sunday morning's video.